Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back. Call to Arms continues here with the Rus Star mod. It is May of 1986, and Soviet forces have arrived here at this village, or rather several villages, in order to capture them. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button if you'd like to see more modern combat or uh, historic missions here on the channel. And of course, you can download this one at any time. Oh, I guess it's 1985. My mistake. Uh, anytime down below in the description, check for that Google document with links to Meta War Assault Squad, Call to Arms, and many other uh, mission mods or any mods on the channel. We have ourselves a uh, interestingly uh, okay defended village. It's not too bad. Uh, in terms of uh, opposition, I'm not really seeing anything of enemy vehicles. Really, I just see some AA and machine guns, so it shouldn't be too bad. So we have a village here, and a village on the other side of the river, and then one in the back corner. This one seems to be the biggest, so we'll see what we can do here. Looks like we have uh, something called Aviation Challenge. Interesting translations in English, but I would assume that just means air support. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started with our attack then. We definitely don't want the BTR to get hit this early, so we're probably going to go uh, rather BMP to get hit this early. But the BTR is a little bit more expendable, so let's unload our uh, squads here. Looks like we have ourselves a BMP-2, a BTR-80, and also a uh, transport truck there. Cool little Soviet logos on the side of them. Very nice looking. All right, so again, this is uh, you, some of you may remember this as the Afghan war mod for the Cold War mod of Men of War Assault Squad 2, and now it is simply called the Rus Star mod. So if anybody saw me play the uh, Afghan War mod, no longer available, can't be downloaded. So, uh, But you can go back and replay those exact missions here in Call to Arms. So some of you may be looking for a reason to get Call to Arms. It can be downloaded for free. You can play the multiplayer for free. But the single-player missions, you do have to uh, you know, pay to get access to the campaign, which is totally fine because then you also get wonderful mods and such such as this. So it's definitely worth a, worth a reason to play. All right, let's see what we got here. Machine gun. Um... Lots of just scattered troops. Really not much in terms of uh, anything that can hurt us, except for RPGs, of course. But not anything that's going to challenge like a BMP. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Nice thing about this game, too, is uh, you can actually take first-person control of troops and vehicles, so that makes it a lot more enjoyable. There's our... Uh, there we go. That was that first problem out of the way. Well, these guys are very nice. They've decided to line up for us today. That's really nice. Well, that's a friendly. Careful. Keep your head down, Greg. Probably don't want to destroy any of these supply trucks. They might be useful to us. They are using Russian equipment, so obviously their weaponry is uh, all of our stuff. So we should be able to cap and reuse it. We can even go into thermal and take a look at everybody. There you go. Oh my god, who is that? Oh, it's deflect. Oh, there we go. All right, tango down. That was an interesting looking guy. Yeah, all right, let's see. Troops are down. You can see them just kind of fleeing. They're trying to hold their defensive positions, but before I even go out there... Actually, let's go ahead and put you on open fire. Anything you see, boys, just shoot it. All right, we'll get a little closer. All right, time for the infantry squads to do some work. Before that BMP can move up, we do need to take this position here. BTR, you can do the same thing. Unload on that village. It's confirmed to have enemy uh, fighters, so get going. Okay. So I think, wow, it's going to be easy to take this position. Check this out. All we need to do here is stay behind this wall. So what we need to do is just stay behind this wall uh, on the right side to stay out of the line of the machine gun. Now, all of you know my gripe with the uh, call to arms grenade throwing. Now, let's cook that grenade. Please land exactly where you thought it would. Thank you. All right, a lot of the times it's bad. Oh, where did that guy go? He must have ran away before my grenade went off. Huh. He escaped into that uh, puffy pink smoke. All right, let's roll up. Okay. So now we're a little bit closer. Now where are we going to cross this river? I'm assuming after we capture the first village. There we go. A bridge. Wow. Interesting to actually see a bridge. Usually it's just like a low wall. Uh oh. We got troops out in the open. 
Yeah, you might regret that decision, huh? Hey, let's go out and point our guns at that vehicle. Oh, they're shooting back. Oh, no. The reload time. Come on, now. What was that? Our BMP2 and BTR should be unloading on all these positions. Like this is a lot of it's a lot of nothing to clean out here. I like that they're firing 30 mm armor armor piercing too cuz these troops are hiding behind brick walls. 30 mm. Look, these guys are taking 30 mm to the back of the cranium, chest and whatnot. And they're just kind of like, "Nah. Now that doesn't affect me." I'm just going to eliminate all these walls because they're just not... There we go. That's way easier than risking any of our infantry. Okay, let's get that grenade out, my man. There we go. Time to dance. Secret recipe. Enjoy that. Cooked it just for you. Oh, wow. Look at how many hits these guys take. We're still hitting this guy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we were hitting him. You saw the blood spatter every time. Oh, at least headshots work. Yeah. At least headshots work. Oh, wow, we got him. Got to double tap everyone in this game. All right, now we finally hold this position. You can play in a hardcore mode, which actually makes it a little bit more like Rob's realism. But some of these missions were designed uh, with just, I think, just by being played on normal in regular mode. So, all right, let's see here. All right, look at all our troops just shooting back. All right, let's bring the vehicles up. We cleaned all but one man out. Hopefully he doesn't have an RPG. Okay, there we go. Well, not too bad, these missions, though. There's just a lot a lot to clean out. Like, look at all those enemy defenders that we had to cut through. They were, like, taking uh, defense in the Walnut Grove or whatever the hell. Olive, olive Fields? Whatever it was. Right, we'll keep the supply truck up here. We will need supply at some point. Well, I'll tell you, though, if you have to fight up a hill, uh, if you have to go up territory, like up a steep hill, like in Afghanistan, it's not going to be easy fighting. All the fighting that we're doing here is uh, on flat land so far, so we're lucky. Alright, well, the vehicles will continue to unload, that's good. Boys up here are still fighting. There we go. Now we got ourselves a big old firefight and plenty of ammo. Look at that. We got some extra ammo as needed. Village number one is going to fall shortly. Just takes a little bit of time, I guess, to get up here. Now, I don't want to use our air support so quickly. We have air support at our disposal. Damn those guns, huh? The enemy was reinforced. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Let's go ahead and use that air support now. Oh, I thought it'd be immediate. All right, let's switch to uh, ATGM. Oh, there we go. Well, I thought that helicopter would have been here by now. I thought it was immediate strike. Well, we won't need it. Watch this. Oh, get wrecked.
Oh, they're, they're actually shooting at the helicopter. That's it. The goal is struck. That That's it? Okay, well, this is clearly a ground-only mission with no assets at all. That, that's ridiculous. Okay, let's see if we can, uh... Oh, the helicopter acts. What, what, what an embarrassment. Alright, let's keep the BTR on the road. Looks like, I don't know, we must have got hit. How could we not... I don't know why our vehicles can't prioritize literally dudes out in the open. Oh, we have a 40 mil... Oh! I didn't know that. I didn't know we had a grenade launcher on here. What is that? Number four? Oh, yes. Oh, no. Somebody finally got close enough to hit us with a AT weapon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying about vehicles not prioritizing infantry and stuff. They kind of just, like, point at somebody that they can't engage, and then they, they leave their gun pointed in that direction. And then they don't actually engage the troops. Luckily, we can repair that BMP, so it's not a problem. Where are they, donkey? You just, just chilling there? Go find Shrek. Leave me alone. All right, luckily that'll be repaired quickly. Okay, well, we've got our first village pretty much captured. We just need to do a little bit of cleanup in the back. Luckily, uh, with shortage of supply, we can just go over here. A lot of our troops in need of ammo. I think our truck and B, uh, MP, no, BTR both have ammo. Oh, and there's more ammo trucks inside the town. So, wow, lots of ammo inside the town. So we'll be all right. Can you guys not see the troops literally in front of you? Wait, is this thing out of ammo? Oh, we've literally run out of ammo at the first checkpoint. Frustrating that the vehicles will not engage these troops. Again, the AI not so great. Look, pointing in the direction of the enemy has the capability of hitting troops with the machine gun and refuses to do so. That'd be a court-martial right there. Alright, let's bring up the... Uh... Grab yourself some ammo, boys. There we go. Whoa! Supply truck exploded. A couple of our guys got caught under that. That's alright. Big old crazy shootout going on, huh? Dude. Look, they're walking right up to this vehicle. Come on, guys. Alright, babysitter simulator. Apparently I have to, like, watch every vehicle. BMP's just as bad. Let's go over this way and secure that area. Okay, well, we have more helicopter strikes we can call in. I don't know on, on what, though. Oh, that's a good position. All right, right, what about right there? Helicopter not so good, though. It's just basically one big explosion is all you get from the helicopter. And it looks like the uh, enemy's army is out uh, bathing. Taking a little, little bathing, sorry. Yo, yo kill into Ingleska. Alright, let's go over this way. Okay, here comes the chopper after. It takes about like 30 seconds for that thing to come in. Alright, let's take a look at where he's going. Oh. Oh, he actually does strike on opportunities. <laughs> what garbage. Absolute filth. What a joke. That chopper didn't even get to its target, fired a couple of random missiles, and then crashed. That's, that's horrific. So basically we have no no support at all. Barely any vehicle support. I think the AI really needs to be worked on in this thing. I wonder if the mod makers can work on the AI. 
I don't think I I've seen better AI in Call to Arms, but these vehicles like parking in front of troops and not being able to shoot back, this is something I haven't seen before. This is not Well, it just means you have to have a little bit more babysitting. That's okay. Alright, let's walk. Alright, so we're almost to the end of the first village here. Well, I thought this would be a lot easier. There's just a lot of cleanup to do, that's all. Uh, oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let's heal up. BMP still being repaired. I think we're pretty much out of ammunition for most of these uh, forces here. We'll let the vehicles clean off everyone in the north. Now uh, let's swing through here. Oh. Okay, vehicle finally repaired. I think we lost a couple crewmen on that, but that's okay. Sounds like only 200 rounds left for the BMP or BTR. Let's have these guys hop into this. BTR actually has the ability. BMP still has the ability to fight. Anybody want to throw a grenade? We do have incoming enemy mortars, so now I'd like to find out where those are. Hit it with the chopper. Mm, oh, I can see it coming in from over here. Are you kidding? Is that the mortar that's engaged? Are you kidding me? The range on that. Their, their range is this. That's an incredible range in this game. Wow. We're not even going to be able to hit that with the helicopter. You saw it get shot down before. No way. Okay, let's get our boys healed up here. And uh, let's grab ammo. Anybody who's got access to a weapon crate, get over there. I wonder if we can... Well, everybody's walking back now. Looks like they were trying to reinforce... I don't know where they're going. All right, well now we got to cross the bridge. I don't even know if that's worth that at the point. Eh. Best for us to hit like mortar positions or something. Are there mortars over here? Well, this position would be nice to attack. Mm. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we're just going to grab some supply. The troops on that side need to uh, be dealt with, but later. The door of the BMP is still blown open. <laughs> I think that's just a graphical thing that'll change. All right, let's make sure our chopper... Chopper, we're still waiting on that to arrive. Don't like the air support. It takes too long. Oh, here it comes, finally. Okay, let's see if it actually makes it to its target. All it needs to do is make a, a, a mortar go boom. All it does is, like, drop a bomb. It's literally just an artillery garbage. Bum, 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 bum. So we're basically waiting for the rest of this uh, coastline to be cleared out. As you can see, the bridge, very important piece. That, well, really the only way across. And I hope it doesn't get destroyed by anything. Like, I hope we, we can cross 
without worrying about it. Where's the BMP? Oh, nice. BMP is actually a capable unit. BTR not able to uh, shoot back, apparently, but the BTR can. BMP, rather. Ho ho ho, hello. Oh yeah, like fish in a barrel. That is a failed river crossing right there. That's great, all these guys came out into the open. That means we don't have to deal with them again. No, you don't. Love that grenade launcher. Look at all the choppers that crashed around here. What a joke. Oh, I don't think so. Hell no. There we go. Oh, come. Jeez, man. If you play on hardcore mode, these guys will die a lot easier, but it also becomes an absolute death trap for your, uh, for your troops. BMP's track got hit, so now we gotta repair that. Alright, we're waiting for this guy to repair the BMP. It's gonna take a while, though. Where's the rest of our troops? Alright, everybody has ammo. We need a little breathing room around the bridge. The only thing that the uh, BTR has left now is a couple of machine gun rounds, like a couple hundred, and that's that's pretty much it. So it's kind of worthless now. Not, no real point to use it. What are we getting hit by? Oh, up there. Uh, where is that thing? Now we're out of uh, helicopter strikes. All right, everyone. Well, that is it for today's episode. We're going to go ahead and cross the bridge in the next one. We're going to get the uh, tracks of the BMP uh, repaired, and then we're going to uh, cross the road. We're out of helicopter support. We're out of uh, we're out of time. So uh, hopefully we see you all next time. Thank you, everyone, for clicking that like button if you'd like to see more. And I'll be back next time as we capture village number two and three on the other side of the river. Hopefully we can make it. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.